How are we doing there, boys and girls? Mantis here, and welcome back to another video. Um, so today, something finally happened that people have been asking for for quite a while. Uh, last week, just to, to start the story, last week we had the Spark system be opened up. Uh, your alts can now very quickly and easily get the Sparks needed for crafting some gear. Uh, but all that did was move the problem somewhere else. It moved the bottleneck, as we like to call it. It moved the bottleneck of crafting bits of gear from having enough Sparks to actually Primal Chaos. Blizzard have stepped in nicely and just in time and have saved the day. We can now actually go to Rabul, the dude who is the Artisans Consortium Quartermaster in Valdraken. You guys will probably be very aware of him. Uh, and this thing turned up, the Satchel of Coalescing Chaos. This allows you to bundle up some of your Primal Chaos, send it to an alt. This is really good for just general players who have a, you know, a huge stockpile potentially, especially if you're into Mythic Plus. I imagine you're probably flooded with Primal Chaos on your main characters. You can take 60 of this in one go. Uh, sorry, you have to take 80. There is a Blizzard tax here. Some of you may have spotted. Um, damn you, Blizzard. We don't need these Blizzard taxes. We've already done the hard work to earn the currency in the first place. Let us use it on our alts. Don't open the floodgates and only half open the door. But that's a minor complaint. It's nice that we can at least do it. So you can take 80 of your Primal Chaos on your main character, turn it into a satchel, send it to your alt, and they can get 60 Primal Chaos out when they use it. Um, why is this a big deal for goblins and why is this a big deal for crafters though? Well, like I said, the bottleneck for crafting gear is mostly on these bind on pickup materials. Uh, you know, every single piece of end game gear that you're looking to craft is for the most part going to need, um, you know, a spark of ingenuity and a handful of primal chaos. They're the two limiting factors for most people. Now you can kind of freely get access to these. Sparks are still somewhat limited. Primal Chaos, you do still have to go and get it. But the reality is, is that a lot of players out there will be able to very quickly gear up alts. Um, it would not surprise me if you could get four or five pieces of crafted gear on an alt very quickly. How are these players going to do this, though? Well, I suspect, and I would like to point out this is only speculation, this is my thoughts on this at least, is that people will be far more willing to use the public order system now. Uh, let's look at the public order system and let's look at some of the inherent problems of the public order system. And when you do that, you'll very quickly find out that the big one that everybody's complained about is that you can't specify quality. This doesn't matter quite so much anymore. If you're gearing up an alt and the likelihood is is that you're just trying to get some quick item level gear for that character. Maybe you've dinged 70 on your alt and you just want to be able to have some reasonable gear to get going with the Mythic Plus or you feel as if you're at least contributing to your guild's alt raids or whatever the case may be. Um, 392 bits of gear that you can quite easily get from between 386 and 392 without the use of any infusions, without the uh, without any embellishments, without pumping its item level. Um, this is just some good stat stick gear, which if you can get it quickly and easily on your alts, I suspect many people will try and do just that. Um, the need to hunt somebody down through trade chat is far less apparent because of this, I reckon. Meaning that, you know, your public orders might be a little bit easier to come by. You are still going to have to sit and camp the public orders, though, if you are trying to, you know, craft a few bits. If you're trying to finish leveling up your professions, if you're trying to get them capped out at 100, you might still need to actually trundle your way over and, you know, sit there and refresh the, uh, refresh the screen, see if you can grab something. But my suspicion is quite simple. I do suspect that the chances of finding public orders... Um, It'll be a little bit easier to do. That's that's my guesstimation anyway. This could mean that, uh, that there's never going to be a big outstanding list, but it should mean that if you are still trying to finish off those final levels and you've got a few patterns that people are interested in, you might not have to be haggling through trade chat quite so much to get those skill points, to get those first-time crafts, to get those bonus knowledge points, however it may be. So let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section down below, boys and girls. I'm trying to keep these videos a little bit shorter uh, and a little bit more frequent. I apologize for the fact that we had like nearly a two-week 
uh, <laughs> absence of videos on the channel. I was moving, some of you may know I was moving house. The background is going to change uh, quite regularly over the next few days and weeks as I get everything set up again. Uh, but we're rocking and rolling now. Hopefully nearly daily content from this point forward, uh, as long as I've got something interesting and informative to talk to you guys about. So give the video a like if you enjoyed it, boys and girls. Consider subscribing if you're new around here, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.